So please use Zelle if it's convenient for you to make your payments, but we can also send our, our donations, our tithes and offerings in the mail. We can drop it off on Saturdays. Also, I want to remind you that as we're celebrating Women's Day today, we are asking for the customary offering of $200 each member or visitor. And God loves a cheerful giver. If you cannot give your offering at one, at one time, you can pay in installments, amen? You can pay you for until the rest of the year until you have satisfied your payment, praise God. I believe those are all the announcements. Oh, one more. Church in-person service resumes on June 6th, amen? Spread the word, tell your students. We're gonna have in-person um, service and I believe we have enough room to follow CDC guidelines of six feet distancing and we will also be um, wearing masks. So come with your mask in church. You can sing, we'll be, we'll be able to sing, but we have to wear our mask, amen? So we give God, God thanks for that, that we can see each other again in, in about two weeks in person. Praise God. At this time, I invite Sister Rosalind Morris to cover us, to do the church covering prayer. Amen? Sister Rosalind, you can unmute yourself. Okay. Morning, Union family. God is good all the time, all the time God is good. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship and have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ his son will cleanse us from all our sin. Father God, we thank you for light. We thank you for being our provider, our protector, our healer, for being our everything. Oh, God, Father, we thank you for the drop in the pandemic. As we are still praying that we will be vigilant around one another as we are trying to go back to church and we're trying to do everything as normal as we could. Father, we ask that you be with us. You cover us and you wash us. We thank you, God, for those who have a job, that they are blessed that they can give somebody something else. We also pray for those for those who are seeking employment. Father, we ask that you open the doors for them to break every chain for them. Let them remember that one door closed, another one will be open. Yeah. Father God, we ask that you do not forget them. We pray for the homeless. As we pray for them, we ask that you supply their needs, Lord Jesus. We pray for the children, teachers, bus drivers, and that you continue to protect them. We pray for the doctors and the nurses, essential workers, that you continue to take care of them. Bless them, Lord, for they were in a war zone last year, and they're still going through a lot. So we pray for them. We pray for President Biden, Vice President Harris, that you lead them in doing the right things. We pray for healing with the people of cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, kidney, liver disease, eyes disorder, Father, because of this pandemic, it took over so quickly that sometimes we forget to pray for these sicknesses. So we pray, Lord, even for dementia, Lord, and the suicide around, the rate is so high around the young people, Lord, we pray for them. Father God, we pray for the members of union. Those are sick and shut, and we pray for the members right now on the line, their friends and the family. Even right now, Lord, if someone is sick on the line, you wake us up this morning but we ask that you give them that healing, that special healing. Give them the strength and the faith to keep on trusting in you and do not be afraid because you will never leave us or forsake us, Lord. Lord, you said, behold, I'm the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? And we say, no, Lord. You have made heaven and earth by thy great power and stretch out arms. So there's nothing too hard for Lord Jesus. We pray for Reverend Carter and her family. Lord Jesus, you took her where she went on her vacation. We ask that you bring her back safely for us. 
we pray for the for the ministries in the church, all the ministries, and especially this morning, Lord, for the Women's Day ministry. We pray for the president, Talia Linton, vice president, Ms. Virgie Brewster, that you continue to bless them as they serve you. Bless their family. We pray for Ms. Towers, who will be bringing us the word today. Lord, bless her. We also pray, Lord, for Ms. Smith as she's traveling home to continue to bless her and watch her, take care of her as she go, Father. Father, in your precious name, in Jesus' mighty name, we say amen, amen, amen. Thank amen. you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Um, praise God. I would like, to, as we're celebrating Women's Day, to acknowledge our president, Sister Thalia Linton, and our vice president, Sister Virgie Brewster. Thank you for what you do and for putting on Women's Day today. Amen. Amen. God, let us go to God. Let us bless the offering. God, we give you praise today. We, are thank we give you thanks, God. We know that you bless us and that every good gift comes from you. So we thank you for blessing us. We thank you, God, for the offerings that were received this week, last week, and this week. We pray, oh God, that you would touch it, that you will multiply it, God, that it will stretch, God, for your work in our church and in our community. We ask that you bless each and every one, bless the givers, God. We thank you that there is no lack in our lives. And we give you the glory and the honor for, for everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, Amen. Glory to God. Now today I want Amen. to say we are blessed to have Sister Deborah Evans. Who will now minister to us in song. Welcome, Deborah, and thank you. Uh, good morning, church family. Um, as I was thinking about this Women's Day um, and the theme, um, I thought about how our ancestors and our grandparents and our grandparents' grandparents all knew that the only way to get through difficult times was to lean on the Lord and trust in his word and be anchored in him and his word. So this morning, I would like to sing an old spiritual that I love dearly. My soul's been anchored in the Lord because that is the only way to get through these difficult times. In the Lord, in the Lord, my soul's been anchored in the Lord, in the Lord, in the Lord, my soul's been anchored in the Lord. Before I stay in hell one day, my soul's been anchored in the Lord. My soul's been anchored in the Lord, oh Lord. My soul's been anchored in the Lord, oh Lord. My soul's been anchored in the Lord. I'm gonna pray and never stop. My soul's been anchored in the Lord until I reach the mountain top. My soul's been anchored in the Lord, oh Lord. My soul's been anchored in the Lord, oh Lord. My soul's been anchored in the Lord. In the Lord, in the Lord. My soul's been anchored in the Lord, in the In the Lord, God knows my soul. 
Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Lord. Amen. Beautiful, Debbie. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, Sister Deborah. Mm -hmm. God bless you. And we pray that your gift continue to make room for you. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. This time, let us give our attention one of our, the matriarchs of our church will be bringing the word today, Sister Martha Towers. Thank you, Sister Martha, for accepting today as we celebrate Women's Day. And we look forward to the word. We know that God will use you mightily today. Amen? Amen. Amen. Good morning, Good morning. to my Good morning. church family. Good morning. And Good morning. visiting friends. To our pastor in her absence, Reverend Jacqueline Carter, our lead leader, Jackie Christie, and all the people of faith who are listening in this morning. How are you on this beautiful day? Wonderful. I pray that God will just pour out his spirit upon all of you, and especially to the Women's Day Committee, which have started a program that I pray that God will just take a hold of everything. I thank our pastor, Reverend Carter, for giving me this opportunity to speak to you today. It is a great blessing, and I hope that the God in me will touch the God in you, and we will enjoy praising God together. Let us pray. Dear Holy Father, in the mighty precious name of Jesus, I pray you will Take complete, complete control over me and the message that I will be given today. Please, dear Jesus, bless everything that is being said and done. Let it be to worship you and to glorify your name. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. I'm saying good morning again to all of you, and good morning to my church family and visiting friends. And at this particular time in our lives, it took me a while to try and think of what I would speak to you about today because I was not aware that today was Women's Day celebration. And I'm only saying that every day we celebrate our women. And today is that special day that we are just going to thank our committee and all of those who are involved in bringing you the message. I am going to thank those who are online today that is not a part of the union family but have promised me that they wanted to listen to the word today. That would be coming from me. And one special guest that is on the line, or I hope he's on the line, is my cousin, Bishop Harry L. Seawright. He is the presiding prelate of the AME Church, the Ninth Episcopal District, for the state of Alabama. And he is supposed to be listening this morning, and I praise God that the words that I speak will be like his words, God's words and Harry's word, because even though he's bishop, he's always so humble and so loving and kind to everyone. So it gives me great joy if he's listening to me on the line today because he's special to me. 
and I hope to forever emulate him and the work that he's doing on this earth for the good Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I want to thank my sister Maureen and her daughter Adwar, Michael and his wife, Ollie, and all the others that are not a part of Union and is not necessarily in New York, but in South Carolina and other states. Thank you so much for wanting to listen to this service today. I thought about this world and all that is going on that have all of, not all of us, but most of us, a little anxious and worried because we have been shut in in a way in which we've never been shut in before. We are mad, we're in masses and we are social distancing. And many of us are truly afraid. And I said, why are we so afraid? Yes, it's human, but especially we as Christians, God didn't give us a spirit of fear. When you fear, that's not a part of God. Yes, it's a human emotion, but it's not a part of God. And I said, I'm going to speak a message that stood for Women's Day and any other day. The message is, we need to trust God in a time like this. In a time like this one, we are so bombarded with different kinds of messages and and different things coming into our ears. Some of us are confused and don't know what to do. Should we go out without a mask? Should we stay at home? Should we be in crowds? Should we send our children to school? What should we do? That, my sisters and brothers, has to do with faith and trusting in the Lord. No matter how difficult, no matter what we face in our lives, we must have that relationship with God to know that he's in charge. No matter what we say and do, No matter what we are facing, let's put our trust in God because he he has power over us all. His power is the only power that really matters in our lives. We must trust him and obey him, obey his commandments and believe in his word because The scriptures say, lean not on our own understanding. That's Proverbs 3 and 5. We're supposed to trust in God and believe in his word and to know that he will never leave us for seconds or deceive us, no matter what we are facing in our lives. He's there to reach out for us, no matter what we are facing, no matter what we're coming up against. He is there to keep us if we have faith and trust in him and believe not on our own understanding. In all our ways, acknowledge him. That's why the Bible said to walk by faith and not by sight. Because if we are just going by what we see and all the things that are coming into our, our ears and what we are facing, James said we are to rejoice no matter what in the Lord. And that's because we know he had us covered. We know that God is going to take 
care of us, no matter how dark the situation may look, no matter what may come about. God is there. But in order for you to experience all of that, even though he's good to the just as well as the unjust, but if, in order for you to feel what I am talking about, that Holy Spirit that resides in us, in order to know that and to experience, we got to study God's Word. We just can't say we know the Bible. We got to read the Bible and show ourselves the proof that we know what we're talking about. We have to know that God's power is greater than the devil's power. We also got to know who the devil is. God is for real, and his power is the greatest power of all, no matter what. But the devil is for real, too. You got to watch out for Satan. Satan will pack your mind with all kinds of negative stuff and all kinds of things that make you want to give up and feel that there is no hope. I'm afraid I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. Uh, I, 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 I can't participate. I, I can't sing. I can't. It's always a can and I can't do. Lord, I just pray that we as a people and for all people, that we truly obey God in our everyday routine and to know that God is going to take care of us. His words say, he said, cast all your anxiety on him because he's care for you. God is in charge. Tell everyone who is discouraged, be strong, and don't be afraid. God is coming to rescue his people, and he will. And my God will supply all our needs according to his riches in glory. No matter how difficult it may be to find a job, no matter what is happening in your life, Pray and ask God. Pray honestly. Because we don't, sometimes we don't think about consulting God before we make decisions or any into things that we really not quite sure of. We should always, no matter how small or simple it may seem, we should always, always, Contact God. Ask God, Father, should I do this? Help me to make good and righteous decisions. Be in everything I say and I do. Instilling me your spirit of discernment that will let me know right from wrong. That will warn me if I'm going into danger, seen and unseen. He will do it. Believe me, my brothers and sisters, and all of those who are listening, I'm speaking from experience. I've been on this earth long enough to see how God works and what can happen if you believe and you trust in him. He will give you the desires of his heart. He said that. That's his word. And if you trust him, you will believe some of his words. You will be, believe everything that he says. Because he stand on what he says. His promises are true. He will never leave us, forsake us, or deceive us. We must admit that God is for real. And his word is true. He is, his word is true. If we don't acknowledge that he is true, we might as well stop right now. 
if you don't think that what God's word is, is true, and the examples and the healing, he told you, he came to serve. And if he came to serve, what do you think we ought to be doing? If we're going to follow in his footsteps, we should serve and his. Greatest commandment says to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength. And he said the second is lacking unto it, to love thy neighbor as thyself. These are the two greatest commandments, to love God, to trust him. Don't think that there is going to be, the world is not coming to an end. (laughs) He told you, you will see many things happening, but don't think that's the end. That's not the end. You got a while ahead to go. We, none of us know how long he's going to allow us to live. But in your living Keep the faith in him. I just feel that we serve and know that we serve a living Savior. He loves us. He gives us his word. He, we know he didn't give us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and of love and of sound mind, which means that we should have self-discipline and self-control. Timothy talks about that. You know, we have to spend time with God. We have to not feel that our lives are so busy that we can't include God in everything that we say and do. You don't have to pray all day. You don't have to pray 10 minutes. But let God know you recognize that he is superior over you. And he has your life and my life and everybody's life in his hand. He has us in his hand. And what more loving hand you want around us than the loving hand of God. Jesus Jesus, how I love you. Oh, how we love you, Lord. We worship you. We glorify your name. We lift your name on high. There is no name like the name of Jesus. On the sound of his name, every knee should bow and every tongue confess. Because he's Lord of lords, King of kings. He will forever be back in our lives. So no matter matter how and what we are up against, just remember this, that our spiritual balance of fears in temptation and confusion, please bring us the comfort and the resilience and the faith and trust in you that we need to serve you individually and collectively. I pray on this day, and I thank all of you for listening. And as I said before, don't be afraid. Read your Bible. Study God's Word, because no matter what I say, it's what I say. You ought to read it and, and, and see it for yourself. I know you have experienced it, but sometimes when we don't know God, we don't even recognize his blessings when they come. We think we did it all on our own. We don't give him the credit. I pray that the world, not just us, as a people, but I pray the world will recognize the power of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, 
because until the world recognizes his power, the devil will continually be in our path. We got to learn how to pre- uh, uh, rebuke Satan in the mighty name of Jesus. That's what we got to learn how to do. We got to learn to lean and depend on Jesus. He's our Savior and our God, our Alpha and our Omega. He's the beginning and the end. Trust Him. Trust Him. In all that you say and do. And I pray that God will open up your heart and your mind and he will clean your soul from anything that is wicked and not a part of him. That you will live the life and enjoy the pleasure and peace that we receive when we know Jesus. When we know him and we trust him in a time like this, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, in the mighty, merciful name of Jesus, I thank you today for the privilege to talk about you and to let the people know that you are for real. You are a true loving God. You are the light of the world. And where your light shine, darkness cannot overshadow. Help us to trust and believe in you. Bless all of those who may not be listening and may not understand. Bless those who may be all confused and, and don't know what way to turn. Happen and know that there is not but one way to turn, and that turn should be to you, because you are our salvation. You are our Savior and our God. I thank you, Father, for the privilege. I thank you for the blessings and keeping of us all, and I pray that this Women's Day and all of those who are involved and who have participated will be personally blessed and care for by you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Sister Amen. Martha, stories never disappoint. What Amen. an awesome word this awesome. morning. Awesome. Beautiful. Encouraging. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Towers. Yes. Amen. Thank you. Powerful. Thank you. Thank you. We need Thank to you. trust God because God is in charge. He really is in control. We need to study his Thank work, read the Bible, and show ourselves approved. And what I love is he said, yeah. trust all your cares upon the, on the Lord because he cares for you. Amen? And yeah. always consult God. I, I love that. We should always consult God because God is in control. Thank you, Sister Stowers. Oh, yes. Let us, let us yes thank you all. God bless. God bless. Cousin Merriman, this is Bishop yeah. Seawright. Thank oh, you. Bishop Seawright, I was going to yes, give you an opportunity to, to greet us. You can go ahead now and greet us. And, amen. Oh, okay. I'm sorry for butting me like that, but I was so excited yes. over the word. <laughs> 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 Cousin Mary don't know how much I love her and love my family. And we just Amen. the word that she delivered Amen. today. Thank you. What a Amen. wonderful word. God bless Amen. you all. And Reverend Sharita and I just sitting, my wife Sharita and I just sitting here and listening to you and enjoyed it. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Keep Thank faith. You. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, and Reverend. Thank you all. You thank you, Bishop. United Methodist. God bless you all. Thank you. We are in Alabama. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Reverend C. Wright, for joining us this morning. We do appreciate that you're worshiping with us today. Amen. And we love you. Amen. Thank you. Love your cousin, Sister Myrtle. She's one of the (laughs) matriarchs of our church. Very exciting. And a woman, an awesome, powerful woman of God. 
Amen. Amen. Praise God. Yes. So I, I like to thank everyone. Thank you, too. Bishop C. Right. <laughs> you know we love you. I love you all too. Thank you. <laughs> Someone else was speaking. Um, yeah. Yes, this is this is a, a former member of Union United Methodist Church, Sister Ollie Benner from South Carolina. I bring you greetings. Listening to my dear sister give the message, I was blessed, and I Amen. want to say I miss all of you all, and hope to be up in New York soon to to worship with you again. Okay, Ali. Ali, Ali Benners, this is Richard Lee. When you come to New York, I'd like you to sing for me. I will. I will. Remember the gospel chorus? <laughs> yes, I do. All right, now we miss you. Hi, love you guys. I really miss you all. This morning was just like being back at Union. Amen. Listen to all the voices, the familiar voices. I, I just love you guys so much, and I miss you. We miss, miss you too. too. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we will have a little bit of fellowship after we the benediction. But before we go to the benediction, I would like to go to acknowledge, I would like to ask Sister Thalia to come as our president at this time and give us some closing remarks and then we'll have the benediction and fellowship. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I would like to thank our, my church family who all participated in making our first Zoom, Zoom Women's Day service a success. Ms. Myrtle Stowers for that wonderful message. Ms. Roslyn for the church covering prayer. Deborah Evans for blessing us with her amazing vocals. Vocals, Phyllis Trotman for the scripture and Sister Jackie for putting this program together. Thank you, thank you all for always willing and ready to do the work of the Lord. Amen. Would, like to, would like to thank my vice president Virgie for working so diligently to raise funds for Women's Day. And thank you to all the women and the men of the church for always stepping up and showing out when we need you. May God continue to bless each and every one of you and have a safe and blessed week. Thank you all. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Talia. And now let's have let's have the benediction and then we shall have Sister Jackie. fellowship. Sister Jackie. Amen. Sister Amen. Jackie. Yes. This is Sister Batman. Just before you do the benediction, I just want all the Union United members to know that we have a bake sale on Saturday. And yes. you will come out and support us. And we pray, God, that it would be a blessing to us. And we also ask for volunteers, not only Sister Virgie to work, but we need other people to work. You, even though you don't have to belong to the women, but you come out and help us because we're doing it all for the honor and the glory of God. Them. And we want to see our church open back in. We need to fellowship and we also need to clean the church, but we need to get some funds to help us on this Women's Day. So thank you very much for your time. Okay. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Pat. So let's just clarify, there will be a bake sale on May 30th, Saturday, May 30th. Oh, the 29th. May 29th, okay, yes, that's Sunday. So uh, and will we start around like 12 o'clock? Is that a good time? No. What time is the bake sale happening? 12 o'clock. Okay. Uh -oh. 12, we selling for cake too. Um, yes, yes, cake. So what time? All the About 10, 11 o'clock. we finish. 10 o'clock until everything is sold out, right? Yes. Amen. Yes. All right. Exactly. So, all right. So, volunteers, those that have nothing really going on and will come um, and help us, it would be a blessing uh, because uh, I do all the work and I cannot be there to help Sister Virgie, but I would just like we to consider this and know that is for our church. Amen. Okay. Amen. So okay. we give God thanks for the bake sale that's coming up and for some volunteers. We ask, we pray that God will speak to some people's hearts and minds, those who have the time to come out and assist because all the funds go to the church in general. Amen? Amen. Amen. It goes to take care of our church. So thank, thank the, I want to thank the woman 
for today, for this service and for all that you do and the men as well for always supporting us. We pray that as Pamela is getting some rest that she will come back to us really restored. And I wanna say thank you again, Sister Myrtle, because your word, I will be preaching next week and Sister Myrtle's word just went right into what I'm gonna say next week. So I hope you will all come back, join us next Sunday for service at 11 a.m. And now may the strength of God sustain us. May the power of God preserve us. May the hands of God protect us. May the way of God direct us. May the love of God go with us this day and forever. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Praise the Lord. So we can have some fellowship before. Happy birthday, Miss Trotman. Just let you know, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, sister. Happy birthday.